happy Easter. It's Easter today. Um, before I make peanut butter pie for our Easter cookout, I wanted to do a video on Mist, the Magical Alchemist. Mist is very special to me. She is a Pukifi Isis, and I got her, I don't, it's been a long time, it was the summer of 2013, um, in stock at Denver Doll. That was my go-to back in the day, but she, I wasn't sure about the Isis. Nobody really had one at the time. Um, I don't know if she was a new sculpt at the time or something, but um, I wasn't sure that I was going to like her. And to be truthful, I still, I'm not crazy about the sculpt Isis. I don't really like it. To, I'm just being frank. Um, her eye wells are too small. Her eyebrows are too small. She's frowny. She's sad. She, um, in general, I do not like the Isis at all. But the thing that I love about Mist is this is Mist. Like, I could never reshell her. She is Mist to me. Like, and she herself has grown on me. When I see other people's Isises, Isises, I'm like, eh, and I don't really like them that much to be honest but Mist herself has um, become very cherished to me and I will never reshell her or sell her because I just love her <clears throat> so much um, but yes now you know the secret I'm not an Isis fan I'm not a Fairyland fan at all anymore but um, and I cannot change her eyes no matter what because I cannot get them to fit in her eye wells. They're too small. But <clears throat> this actually started as um, she's immortal. She, um, she's very magical. But she does it through like potions and spells and incantations like a wizard. Um, but she's called an alchemist. So she kind of does everything through books and through just mostly spells and potions and stuff like that. So she doesn't just like cast magic. She has to kind of whip it up herself. Um, and she's been alive for, let's see, thousands of years because she actually found how to create her own philosopher's stone. So she kind of has been able to make herself immortal through the stone and she's created thousands of potions and elixirs and boosts and heals and stuff like that um, throughout her lifetime. She's very old. Um, her hair was, let's see, it used to be, I think it was just brown, but through um, one of her potions that actually went wrong a long time ago, her hair turned this bright yellow, sunshine yellow, and she loved it so much that she's kept it ever since. So that is the story of her hair which Peeps actually has as well. Um, Peeps liked the color of Mist's hair, so she shape-shifted her hair into this little hairstyle. Um, I chose the bun hairstyle because it looked like, you know, an alchemist would just throw her hair up, you know, and just kind of be kind of sloppy and messy. Um, I've done a lot with Mist, a lot, lot. Uh, she's one of my most developed characters, actually. She, um, has saved the race of dragons from extinction. Um, I have one, two, four Eileen doll dragons. Um, each one kind of goes with each other, um, and each one of them Mist has saved from a fate uh, like death. <laughs> uh, she saved all of them because. I mean, who would want to save a dragon? And she had a little drake as a pet, but the little drake had once been a great dragon and begged Mist to return him to his former size and strength, and that's Akinar. So Mist and Akinar became very best friends. Um, Mist went on a long journey. Those are actually my Flickr pictures. Mist went on a long journey to save Akinar. Um, he was little, and now he is full-grown dragon. Um... And then Akinar went on a quest to save his now wife, Maro. So that's the second dragon. And then Maro and Akinar laid an egg. And 
another one of my characters tried to steal the egg so that she could go back to her family um, because she had been, um, what, am I, what am I thinking? Not abandoned, uh, disowned kind of by her kin because she hadn't fulfilled her quest. Um, so in, a, in order to kind of get back in with her family, she was going to steal the dragon egg uh, so that they could, I don't know, harness the dragon's power for their own. It was kind of an evil, evil purpose, but Mist was able to save the egg from her. Uh, that's Wander, the fawn, which we'll meet later. Um, Mist was able to s take the egg to safety, um, and Akinar and Maro actually didn't know where she went. Um, they and they mourned the loss of their egg and their very best friend, Mist, and they thought that their egg was gone forever. So when Mist went and took the egg, she kind of warped herself with a book, a linking book. This is kind of really hard to understand unless you saw my Flickr story, but. She had a linking book, which actually is a book with a link in it, so when she touched it, she would transfer herself to wherever the linking book took her, and it took her to an island where she lived for, I think it was six years, um, in kind of banishment and by herself with this egg, and on the island, she was able to bring another dragon back to its full power, and it is now the guardian of the little egg that just hatched into a baby dragon named Chime. So those are all the dragons kind of wrapped up in this story. She's kind of a dragon tamer, savior, and they all kind of correlate with each other. If you want to check that, you need to check out my Flickr stories with Mist because it makes a lot more sense. It doesn't make much sense here with me just trying to explain it with no pictures and without the full story. It's very deep and long and, you know, that sounded weird. <laughs> I need to not say stuff like that. But yes, yeah, so that is Mist, and I hope that you guys will read her story and look at her pictures and love her like I do. I do not like the Isis, but I love Mist and she will never change because she, this is Mist. She's not supposed to be pretty. She's not supposed to be. She's kind of plain. Um, she's kind of unkept, messy. She's an alchemist, and that's just what she is. So this is her look forever. So, yes, I hope you guys like Mist. Please check out her dragon companions, Maro, Akinar, Chime, and Cirrus, in my Flickr pictures as well. And they will soon be, I'll soon be going over them in my book. And I'll put her story below so you guys can check it out. So, yeah, I will talk to you guys really soon. And next, I think, let's see. I did have Rian, but I sold her and never reshelled her, so we'll skip her. Um, we'll skip them for now. So, the next one we will do is Tattletail the Pip Squeak. And she is another one that I love, and she also has a family now, so we can check her out next. So have a great Easter, guys. I'll talk to you really soon. i got to go make some pies now and change into some comfortable clothes because I'm itching like crazy. Uh, have a great week. Bye.